Ben Baker with Juniper Networks. I'm the Director of Strategic Marketing and Juniper builds high performance networking infrastructure. So routing, switching, security, and you know, increasingly as networks are getting bigger and more complex, new technologies like virtualization, ultimately automation are becoming more important. So we're spending our time in these areas a lot these days. We introduced this fun new analogy about categories of IoT devices as flocks of birds. And when you think of them as flocks of birds, then it becomes a cluster analysis problem. And, and to put cluster analysis in the context of the artificial intelligence buzzword landscape, it's a form of unsupervised machine learning. And what we're doing is we have a five-step process. So in step one, you monitor device behavior. Who's it talking to? How often? How much? What are the packet and flow characteristics? And then step two, the clustering will reveal um, the groups that have similar behavioral characteristics. Um, and then step three is detect anomalies. And then once that, once that happens, um, you go to step four, which is the root cause analysis. And, and one of two things can be going on. You can figure out that that anomaly is not malicious or is not something to worry about. And then if that's the case, you stop there update the baseline behavior of your model, retune your machine learning algorithm to accommodate that new behavior. Um, or if that anomaly is malicious, is something to worry about, you go into step five, which is remediate. And you know, increasingly we're getting into a world of closed loop automated remediation. IoT in general is not new, it's decades old, um, but IoT security we think is still in its infancy. And you know, some of the things that uh, the industry and Juniper are doing very well, I think, are firewalls. You know, as each year passes, they're getting bigger and faster, new features keep getting added to them. Um, you know, we're to the point where we're building robust, accurate, large catalogs of threat signatures, of trusted IoT device IDs on the network, and those things are all great, but the size and the scale and the complexity of the problem is billions of new devices come onto the, the, uh, the internet, um, really starts to overwhelm those traditional approaches, and that's why we need behavioral analysis, cluster analysis, and uh, classification algorithms, and, and all different kinds of new um, advanced analytics and machine learning techniques to help solve and pitch in and solve the IoT security problem. Tough question, uh, let's go with Juniper. So um, <laughs> our approach is uh, pervasive security integrated with the network. Um, we no longer see a distinction between networking and security. Um, and here's an example of what I mean by that. So IoT devices, visibility is an issue. They're often hidden behind IoT gateways. Um, traffic to and from them is often encrypted. They might be hidden behind roaming agreements. So we just can't see them. And this is why we need this behavioral analysis. And we need more than just firewalls, more than just telemetry from firewalls. We need all elements of the network to pitch in. We need telemetry from routers. We need telemetry from switches. And this is what Juniper is doing, you know, aggregating, correlating that data, um, putting the management layer on top to unify that visibility um, across different network elements um, and across different vendors. And you know, with the ultimate goal of just simplifying the operation of IoT security and simplifying the operation of networks. Well, it's a fun event. It, you know, I think of it as a combination of kind of history and nostalgia on the one hand, and then on the other hand, um, you know, the most cutting edge, forward-thinking IoT technology. So, you know, if we're honest, I mean, IoT, it's decades old, right? I mean, I, I trace it back to the SCADA systems of the oil and gas industry. And it's really neat if you take the long view and think about things that we we're talking about 10, even 20 years ago um, that might have been pie in the sky at the time. But now, you know, what happens often, not always, but often, typically what happens is the business case will catch up to that marketing hype. You know, sometimes it takes two years, sometimes it takes 10 years, but it's nice to see, you know, at the origin of the idea and then years later at that full implementation of a commercial product. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you know, it's great to walk around and talk to both the startups and just the big cloud hyperscalers and see what 
new technologies they're into, what new ideas they have, what new integrations, and what new implementations of IoT they're working on.